Steamians, what's up? Dan at Starlight here with another Steam It 101 video for you. This time I'm going to talk about the rewards pool. So if you're on Steam It and you get rewarded for either authoring or curating a post, those rewards come out of the Steam Rewards pool. So I'm going to use big round approximate numbers to explain this just so it's easier to follow. So every day about 65,000 Steam are created by the Steam blockchain out of thin air. 75% of those, so around 50,000 Steam, are added directly into the rewards pool every single day. Now the rewards pool averages everything over a 30-day period. So think of the rewards pool as a 30-day long pool that moves through time. Every single day you have 50,000 Steam added to it, and every day some of those Steam get paid out. So it could be more than 50,000, it could be less. For instance, after Hard Fork 19 happened, there was so much voting power being used that uh, way, way more was being paid out every day than was added, right? There were days where more than 100,000 Steam were being paid out, uh, even though 50,000 were still entering it every day. So right now, actually, as I'm making this video, the rewards pool is only about 700,000 Steam. So it's been severely drained, and I expect that it will start filling up again soon. Because um, if you think about it, if 50,000 Steam are being added every single day um, and approximately that many are being uh, paid out, then over a 30-day period, the pool should settle somewhere around 1.5 million Steam, right? So the rewards pool in general you should think of as having about 1.5 million Steam in it. And um, depending on how much voting power gets every day, used every day, um, a certain amount gets paid out. But again, every single day, 50,000 new Steam get added to it. So now, out of the Steam that gets paid out, half of it, or just over half of it, gets paid out in Steam power, and just under half of it gets paid out in Steam dollars. Now, these Steam dollars don't ever really become Steam unless they are converted uh, using the conversion tool in your wallet, right? So they remain part of the virtual supply of Steam. So even though they're included in the Steam inflation rate that we all talk about, the 9.3% uh, inflation that's happening right now and will continue to decline over time, um, the Steam dollars don't actually end up being Steam unless they are converted. And uh, so all these numbers, right, when we're talking about Steam and how big the rewards pool is, those numbers are going to go down over time as Steam inflation goes down. Because the inflation rate of Steam will drop by 1% every year until it settles at around 1% 1 per, 1 around 10 years from now. And then it'll just be 1% every year. But you can expect that the amount of value in the rewards pool will probably keep going up even though the amount of Steam is going down. Um, as each individual steam is worth more and more. So even when the rewards pool is much, much smaller than this in the future, as far as steam goes, it'll still probably be much larger in terms of the amount of value in US dollars or in Bitcoin that it's paying out every single day. So that's the rewards pool in a nutshell. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions about it. Just thought I'd do a quick one. Uh, so you can get start wrapping your minds around that and where all your rewards come from. So uh, that's it for today. Dan Starlight, peace out.